Dichotomous Key. There's a lot of birds in our world, and if you were asked to identify a bird based on its characteristics, you could probably do it. We could probably name the hummingbird, the owl, the duck, and the penguin based on its features. But if you were asked to name these birds using their scientific name, the task wouldn't be so easy. You wouldn't know the scientific name of these birds just by looking at them. Scientists have figured out a way to make a chart to help you better identify birds based on their characteristics. The chart is called a dichotomous key. Reading a dichotomous key is easy. Take a look at the hummingbird. To use a dichotomous key, start at number one. At number one, it's asking us to observe the feet of the bird. A hummingbird does not have webbed feet, so we'll go to step three. Step three has us examine the bird's tufts. Our bird does not have tufts. We just figured out the scientific name. Let's try the dichotomous key again with a different bird. This time we have the penguin. Start at number one. Our bird has webbed feet. So we're going to have to go to step two. Step two has us count the number of toes. A penguin has four toes. We just figured out the scientific name of the penguin. Using the same chart, we can figure out the scientific name of the duck. Starting at number one, we see our bird has webbed feet. So we'll go to step two. We have to count the toes. A duck has three. We just figured out the scientific name again. Lastly, an owl. Always start at number one on the dichotomous key and look at the features of the organism you're trying to identify. Our bird has tufts. This is its dichotomous key scientific name. Dichotomous keys, charts that scientists use to figure out the scientific name of organisms or to help identify footprints. Dichotomous keys.